what we're trying to do is to create a unique place and part of the city here. We're trying to create a new part of London and fill in the hole that's always been there. The King's Cross, if you like, is probably the last opportunity in London for that great tradition that we have of you know, developing chunks of the, of the city. Granary Square will be one of the centrepieces to King's Cross. It's there in the heart of the site. It's surrounded by existing listed buildings which are going to be refurbished and brought back to life. Handyside Park is going to be a hub for families. It's going to be a contrast in a way to Granary Square. There's going to be a lot of soft landscape in there, soft edges, textural things that you can touch and interact with. The canal, we hope, will be attract a lot of people coming uh, along it in an east-west direction and it also gives an opportunity for people to get, get onto it at King's Cross and then move to other parts of London. So we want people to be everywhere and to enjoy all the public spaces and that's what they're designed for and I don't think there's anywhere else that quite has achieved that or had that ambition. The key drivers of the design were to maximise the fantastic uh, opportunities that uh, we have on the site, the fantastic historical context of the canopies next door, the, um, the good sheds and the granary building. The approach to the, the building was to create four individual towers with courtyards between which sit alongside Handyside Park. Um, this gives us the opportunity to maximise the park frontage and uh, the fantastic views to the southwest but also to create um, dual aspect apartments uh, in almost all positions. It's going to be an amazing place to live, the uh, fantastic location, uh, the context around the, the building, um, approaching the building from the south with the welcome that you get from the concierge, this big glazed entrance space that you come into when you, when you come home, uh, the glazed cloisters running along the, the park and the animation and the activity that's happening in the park. King's Cross Central, um, there's a huge amount of attention to detail and I would say passion that's gone into every aspect of the development. With the palette of materials we wanted to create a, uh, a warm environment, uh, durable materials, obviously very important and I think the key aspect for us is to create a classic design that is timeless um, and doesn't become outdated in five years, ten years, so it's a good piece of intelligent design. The quality of materials used throughout is tangibly obvious. So the kitchens are purpose designed for Kings Cross Central. Um, it's not a question of going and selecting from manufacture. What we do is we design the kitchen exactly appropriate to the development and it is a unique kitchen that you won't find anywhere else. With the bathrooms we have designed a wash hand basin um, which is unique to King's Cross um, and is, will be prefabricated and made. It's made out of a material called Hymax, um, which is a fantastically durable and beautiful material. But there's one aspect we're most proud of is the whole holistic nature of the design and the integration of design throughout the development. <laughs>